Welcome back to the ninth episode of a close combat uh, Moist mod playthrough here uh, for the longest day. Uh, we are playing through uh, the gang campaign with the Germans on a late difficulty. And I must apologize, I butcher probably the mod name even, but I will certainly be butchering the uh, <laughs> the French town names. We're, we're going to be fighting in Branche? Branche? I, I don't know. Uh, whatever the heck it says on the top of the screen here. Borange. Borange? Don't know. No idea. The French is, uh, yeah, it's, um, it's a beautiful language, but it is unfortunately one that I far from master. Uh, but either way, I mean, we got infantry versus infantry on this one, so that's a little bit interesting. If uh, It'll be our first uh, battle probably then with absolutely no armor. And we are taking on, uh, well, this, uh, this little town here. And I gotta say, from the looks of it, yet another beautiful looking map. They really have gone above and beyond, I feel, on the uh, map creation here. But either way, let's see what we can uh, set them up with. So, we'll uh, give them a chef de section, uh, or <laughs> however you say that. I hope I'm not sound like an absolute idiot. Trying to Frenchify the sound of these things, but I guess I probably do, either way. Uh, let's see what we got there. We got reserve Schützen. Wow, that's a lot of guys for just uh, reserve infantry. And see, that's another thing I like with this mod, is that... Um, uh, the, there's so many units, and like the, there's not like these small teams. There's actually quite large infantry teams. It's... I don't know, I, I just... I kind of appreciate that. Uh, so we got these guys. They have an anti-tank rifle on them, so actually let's not go for them. Uh, let's maybe not go for these guys either. Command team. Maybe we don't bring in a command team. Do we really need one? I don't think we do. Anti-tank rifle team here with a lot of uh, telemine, gebalte ladung, and molotov. Bundled uh, charge, basically. Gebalte is well, roll to get on a ball or bundle up kind of thing. Either way. Uh, yeah, I mean, we got... We got some options here. Uh, recon teams, Dostrop, Schutzen, more Schutzen of a different setup, more rifles. I think having at least one submachine gun in the team could be good, uh, though, since we're going to be having a little bit of house to house fighting. Uh, I just don't want to go too hard with, uh, with pioneers or anything. So they have uh, Pioneer Spring. Uh, spring is also Norwegian word, means to blow something up. Uh, so I, I guess that's Sprengladung, which is a explosive charge. Either way, I mean, let's not get into the languages and nuances, because I'm probably going to say something that's not correct at some point if I get uh, too much into that. But. Uh, well, we have some interesting stuff. Would it make sense to bring a gun in here, like a cannon? I don't think so. Um, let's see. Okay. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll put in one. But it's, I kind of don't want to... They have an anti-tank rifle, so it's... Hmm, I don't really want them to, like, die, and then we could have used them against some armor later. But let's see. Stostrup. Uh, we got... This five-man team, at least one of them will be wielding a pistol, though. MP-35. Well, I don't really know her. Uh, I think uh, Schutzen, for sure, could be good, but I want some units with, uh, with actual submachine guns in them. Stormtrop. I mean, they just have quite a bit of explosives and such that I might not want to just kind of waste. Okay, it's a, it's a little bit weird infantry setup here, I would say. Um, but let's maybe get these guys in here. Uh, you know, they have a mouse, so yeah, let's just do that. And then full-on Schutzen team here. And more Schutzen. We, we just go pretty heavy on Schutzen, and we can bring a MG-37 team as well. And let's go Stostrup. Right, something like this. And more of these Schutzen, sir. And an MG-37. 
and Stoster. So this is the strongest infantry division ever. These guys have uh, seen battle, but they're not, uh, well, veterans of any sort. But uh, we, we got a lot of guys. Uh, most of them just using a mouse, but we have some submachine guns with us. It's uh, seven-man teams, so we have a lot of grenades. Some uh, smoke grenades. And we have a couple of heavy MG-37 teams. It should be good. You know what? MG-37s will... Uh... Is that even a heavy machine gun team? No, it's just a machine gun team. Let's get some MG-26s in here as well. Um... So we have some uh, MG teams that can kind of yield support. I think maybe we stick the MG-26 teams together with the Sugfeeler. So we kind of just have these three teams there. Uh, complement each other to form one six-man team to to a certain degree either way let's uh, edit the opponent here. um now we have a squad light team we have fusiliers uh, scouts we don't need any cannons on these guys uh, rifle grenade teams might be good let's see um, well, let's just get a uh, squad of these in here. It's uh, six-man teams. They have a few different older rifles, actually. What do these guys have? It's also a six-man team. Okay, we're going to go, actually, uh, get four of these guys in instead. So they have, uh, well, a little bit older rifle, I believe, but um, also light machine gun. Uh, these mine sappers are not entirely sold on them necessarily, but we can put in one of them, I'd say, and, uh, well, let's get a couple of rifle grenade teams in, perhaps, and this heavy MG team. One rifle team, one light machine gun team, and a heavy machine gun team, maybe, something like this. Then we go like this again. We can probably roll this guy to a higher experience level. There we go. And then we just kind of mirror this for uh, the support team. And uh, something like this should be fairly adequate, I would say. Um, yeah, I mean, I think that's okay. The point total adds up to a lot more than my point total, at least. And we are attacking, so... Well, let's just see how it goes, I guess. Um, so, let's see if we can formulate the plan. I'm looking at high-rise buildings. We got these four-story things here. That's something to maybe try to get control over. We got a three-story here. Uh, a three-story here. One here. We can get an MG team in or two immediately. Uh, the MG-26 team. So, actually... Mm. Yeah, they don't have a lot of ammo. Kind of a waste to bring these in at all, then, I suppose. Uh, oh well, but that being said, maybe they can yield some support early on and then maybe scavenge up some weapons from the enemy later. Fallen enemies or fallen comrades, whatever comes first, basically. Now we get the uh, kind of marginal Sugfuro team in here with them as well. Alright, so what else do we have? Um, I think if we can move a heavy machine gun team in on like the northern side of this as we advance and one on the south so we have some MG team support that could be well, that could be good for us I think I'm uh, just gonna run these guys over to the corner there to start off with now we have all these Schutzen teams let's just uh, kind of get them a little bit here and there get them into some buildings and just kind of get them set up, basically. A couple of Schutzen teams here. Now let's see. Um, maybe one here. Just kind of cover the MG teams initially, moving in. These guys can come with the MG teams. Uh, or the MG team. And we just kind of try to push slowly, poke and prod a little bit at the enemy and see where... Um, 
where we have a better chance of succeeding. And then we can uh, try to push it to wherever that might be. Uh, this should be fairly solid teams, so it should hopefully all work out pretty well. We do, of course, have a lot of grenades, which is good. Um, I think maybe focusing a few teams down south could be a good idea. As there seems to be more work to be done pushing south than west. Either way, let's begin. I think we should be getting a mortar strike available at some point as well, if I'm not mistaken. Here's another thing I'm noticing. This is the first close combat game that I've been playing that doesn't actually have issues with the UI being a bit glitchy. And it, it's of course a mod, so they must be doing something right. So, who's taking cover from enemy fire and where? Over here. Okay, so... Now we lost an MG guy. Where exactly were they taking fire from? Hmm. Well, we're getting a guy set up in the buildings at least, so the fight is on, that's for sure. Uh, these guys are not set up too well. No, all these guys I need them on the edge of the building. Alright, let's see. Yeah, there's a lot of action here. We had a lot of infantry there. We could use the mortal strike right now, but I think we're gonna hold on to it for a little while. Let's see, maybe move these guys further here. Gain a little bit more ground. Now let's just do the positional fighting up north for now and uh, maneuver where we aren't running into the enemy too much. Oh shit, we lost the uh, MG team already. Well, that sucks. That really sucks. Huh. Okay, so we have an enemy team heading into this building here, it would seem. It's just going to give them, if it's an MG team, it's going to give them very good coverage of uh, surrounding areas. Move these shits and dudes over here. Are these guys firing? Currently reloading. They will be able to shoot at this, so that's good. Okay, well these Schützen guys are not really doing that much right now, so I'm gonna have them head over here. Maybe get some uh, flanking fire going on this position, if possible, hit them from the rear. Uh, these Schützen dudes are not doing too much either, so let's move them in as well. Just kind of step by step here. These guys are shooting at something, so... Uh, they're primarily unable to see, so... Actually, three-story building, let's uh, let's claim that and uh, keep pushing up a little bit here. we got two Schutzen teams firing south. Um, we're certainly taking some casualties thus far, unfortunately. Maybe we can have these guys head over here and support. This might be a grenade rifle team or something. But now we have them kind of pinned in the courtyard here, so it should turn out pretty nicely for us. Once we get another infantry team up there, we should be pretty golden. Oh, these guys have no target. Uh, these guys are almost out of ammo. Remind me not to use these MG26 teams anymore. Well, I have to remind myself, obviously, but... Um, it's just a, a saying, basically. Uh, it looks like we can uh, maybe... Is there something coming out of hell? No. Okay, let's just kind of head over here, claim this victory location. And well, looks like it's going to be a little bit of a hard fought one. We're taking quite a bit of casualties, particularly these shits and that just kind of ran out of the building to get killed. So, what are you going to do about it, you know? Hmm. Alright, well, I'm, I'm not sure how much damage we're doing to these enemies there, actually. In fact, it seems like we're not doing a whole lot. This might be a uh, two-turn engagement, so to say. Okay, these guys have run into a lot over here. Maybe these other Schutzens can come in and support them. 
And let's be honest, let's move these guys in as well. Get three guys there, or three teams engaging there. Move these guys up a little bit as well. Now taking a beating over here. There's three infantry teams at least in the area. So I think if we can maybe move some of our teams actually over here to get some side shots in on there. Just kind of pin whatever sir and try to put some focus on it. Okay, just get into this building here, don't die. Don't die. Uh, we still have not done anything to this fucking uh, platoon leader team here. We haven't killed a single guy and they're just lying there in the damn courtyard. So, how is it we are not killing them? I'm gonna run the MG26 here across. And the command team. And we'll see what comes from that. Hmm. Right, well, we have people in decent positions here now. So we should be able to... Okay, we've taken out the Facilier, so... Uh, are these guys still firing? Yeah, they're engaging something, so I'll just keep them in that position for now. And are these guys doing anything? Kinda, but mainly not, I would say. We are taking some casualties here, for sure. But it's just this what I say. Actually, this would be a perfect place to use maybe the uh, the mortar strike in this general area. Hopefully, we don't hit our own guys. But let's just lighten this. There we go. That's some good hits. Let's kind of lighten the load a little bit here. By should have probably used this before. Didn't think of it. So that's my bad. Mg26, sir. No ammo left. There's 12 bullets left in one of them. What we're gonna do, we're gonna move them over here and they can scavenge some dead guys, basically. Uh, let's see. We did get an MG team over here, yes. Currently reloading. So we are tearing apart this platoon leader team, that's good. I think we've started to do some okay damage over here as well. Ooh, taking some too, though, for sure. Uh, we just have to let this fight uh, develop. We have the high ground in the buildings, so it could be to our advantage here. No team's morale is budging thus far, though. Now, let's see what we've got here. Let's uh, keep these guys active in the fight. And I think I need to move the Schutzen team up. One thing I gotta comment on, but it's annoying me a little bit though, with the building system. They won't kind of clip onto the edges of the buildings and the walls and such. Uh, so you send them into the buildings, and they're just not really getting engaged in the combat that much. Yeah, we lost an entire Schutzen team here. But at least the MG team can uh, use their ammunition and whatnot, so... There was a heavy MG team trying to cross the street. Not entirely sold on how good that is, but... Hmm... Yeah, we're not really making a ton of progress anywhere. I mean, we're pushing in a little bit, but the French really are holding us back pretty well in this one. Uh, any further maneuvers right now might be unwise. I say might be because maybe we should be maneuvering further. Let's get this MG team set up over here. Okay, okay, we're taking out this heavy machine gun team. That's good. Um, these guys are gonna have to defend a little bit over here now. The enemy is coming in. I think we're gonna move this MG team in here to support their position in the building. And uh, now that we have uh, taken out these guys in here, maybe we can get some units heading over in this direction. And that might include this Schutzen team here. So we have a little bit of firepower. We'll keep these Schutzens in their guard here. And now the uh, MG team is coming in to help with that. These guys have not seemed to be very important in this fight uh, yet. Maybe they are, but I think we're fine. And I'm going to try to move these guys just over here and just progress a little bit on taking some of these victory locations. Ah, there we go. The enemy morale is now finally taking a hit. Can you not move out in the open like that? I mean, for fuck's sake. 
Every close combat game ever. Uh, they just don't see. They could have just moved along the building, and that guy would still be alive. But they chose not to, so now he's dead. Okay, can you can you get into the building? What are you doing exactly? What? Idiot. Absolute idiot. Okay, this guy seems to be deserting or something. Okay, not gonna lie, there are some issues in this general area here right now. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna have to fucking tell them, like, this how to move. This is not anything about the mod, it's just every close combat game ever. These guys are not even moving. Can you just get over there, please? Uh, yeah, I mean, enemy morale is going down, but so is ours, so... I don't know, let's see how far we can push it with these guys to capture some victory locations, maybe. Well, I mean, we've lost some teams for sure, but so has the enemy. There's four infantry teams that we know of holding this position. I mean, generally our morale is fairly low, but I think we're going to try to gain a bit more ground before we, uh, we call it a day, for sure. Might want to take a truce at some point, but... Okay, we lost a troop. That's an MG team, I think. Could have been a Schutzen team, actually. Oh well, these things happen. Let's take uh, La Madeleine, and maybe we can take this, and this. And yeah, we lost the MG26 team. Uh, just a memo to myself, don't ever bring those teams ever again. Also, why the fuck are we not seeing these guys in returning fire? Now? Let's do that, please. Well. Hey, what, what the fuck happened to these guys? I need... We need support in this building here. Only one guy left. We can maybe put him in ambush, but really I would like to put some pressure up there. Maybe it's La Madeleine, I don't know. But either way. Let's attempt to take that. And we lost another Schutzen team. That would be these guys. Okay, maybe we just keep on this end of the street here. I mean, they're... yikes. The AI is putting up a serious effort in this one, not gonna lie. Uh, yeah, we're taking some... We're taking some serious casualties here, but I'm just gonna keep pushing around. It seems like they have most of our infantry teams engaged, so... Possibly, we can make some moves, so... And I think maybe... can we get some smoke grenades out there? Yeah, let's get some smoke grenades out there if possible. Set these guys up here, uh, form a perimeter so the enemy doesn't push any further. Okay, that's our smoke grenades, and let's see if we can't get across the street here. We're trying to make some move from here. And this Schutzen team is uh, taking some serious damage as well. Oof. Man, this, this close combat game just hits different. Right, but it seems like we are able to push through and claim quite a few of these victory locations, so... Oh, they're making a push here with the light machine gun team. And we are running low on ammo, so... We're not really taking that on a whole lot. Okay, wait, are they surrendering? Are we at that point now where we can actually make the enemy surrender a little bit? Are we... Is this loosing up, at least on the south side here? Ah, oh, shit. That's an infantry team or something. So let's get into this building and take them on from up there instead. Uh, who surrendered? They surrendered. Oof, that is not good. Okay, you see, I kind of wanted to um, to make some maneuvers so But it looks like that might not be wise right now. Hey, these guys are moving out in the open street. Fucking mow them down. Mow them down. These guys need to hold... Hold the ground over here so the enemy doesn't push through, but... Jesus Christ almighty, we're taking a lot of casualties. 
Do we have shots in this with the whole squad though? What's the deal? Uh, also over here, what's the deal? I think I'll probe with this shots and team here, see if they can push safely here. With some cover of course. If they can, then we can make some maneuvers. And this shots and team I believe are gone anyway from our serves due to taking heavy casualties, so... We might as well move in and uh, risk it with them rather than shots and teams that are, you know, still gonna be with us in the future. Gonna move them up to the corner here so we get better shots down on that. And looks like the enemy is trying to make some sort of a move on the north there. There's a lot of fucking grenades coming out at least. Okay, okay, you know what? Uh, we've done some serious damage to the enemies uh, over here. I think we need these shots and guys over here fast to go and support these guys. Actually, we might just need to take up a defensive location in this building instead, because these guys seem to be in serious trouble. Yeah, I mean, they want a truce, so good for them, I guess. It looks like we are free to move some for units around here, so we are going to move these guys over there. And just in case it's necessary, we'll move these guys down here, and then we can maybe divert these guys up north. Uh, could you get safe, please, and then keep moving? I'm thinking we could move here with these guys. Uh, not sure how long these two guys here can be fighting. Okay, there's one guy pushing over here. He's throwing a lot of grenades. Is there a... Yeah, we got him. Nice. Good. One of these guys, though. That could be problematical. We got some grenades going out. This is a heavy machine gun team, seemingly. We've got one guy fighting back, the other guy's unconscious currently. Shit, this game is intense. Ah, rifle grenade team, they surrendered. Okay, we'll send this team over here. And send these shits over here, for now. Let's see, we got this covered. I think, probably, we'll be fine sending these guys over here, then. We can just take this over here, and I will leave... Actually, you know what? I'm going to leave um, these guys down here on the south end. Just so they don't uh, retake these vector locations. Could happen. I don't think it will, but it could. So we have this vector location. Now we can divert these guys also up north to help out with the uh, defensive uh, action there. Kick these guys in the fend again. Let's see how it all fares when we got another uh, Schutzen team or two coming in to help. Keep defending with them. Okay, I mean, yeah, we're, uh, we're getting places now. But, uh, Jesus Lord Almighty, we're taking a lot of casualties in this engagement. Okay, we're taking fire from something here, these guys. Uh, not sure what exactly. Not sure where, either. But for sure, the enemy is more heavily focused in the north right now. We... Ah, shit. Lost the shots and team, I guess that was to be expected. Right, you know what, fuck this, fuck this, fall back, fall back, fall back. Just get into this building instead, it should give us a better position to fight from. And maybe we can move the heavy machine gun team here over here. Did we kill this? We did kill this, so let's get this MG team set up here. Should the enemy try to push any further, we will then have some shots on them as they make these maneuvers. Push these guys out to the corner here, get this three-story building and see what that can maybe do for us. Are we taking serious casualties moving back here? Let's get going, boys. Let's get going. We'll set up defensively here. We're in a three-story building so we can potentially shoot over. Well, we can't. We'll wait for that third infantry team, then maybe we can push this together with some smoke grenades. Um, this kind of looks like either a factory area or some fancy modern luxury villas. Not entirely sure. Right, we'll keep these guys there on the fence. So, where, where are these shots coming from? Is it in here? Is it? I think we'll push that then. And well, these guys down here just defending in case. I think that sounded like a German scream of pain. It surely was. We don't even see where it's coming from. 
I guess keep these guys in the corner for now. I don't know. Is it from here? I see, yeah, there's a rifle team there, it seems. Okay. Um, you just get safe, please. And we'll try to support you as you um, extract out of that position. We got the machine gun team engaging here now, so we can move these schutzen teams then again. Uh, these guys stop from taking fire or something. Either way, let's move them in now. Hmm. Well, this is a tough one. It has been so far, at least. Well, we took out the heavy machine gun team here. So let's move this MG team up a little bit. Uh, are we... These guys are taking serious cash from this now. So yeah, these guys are unfortunately now out of our... Uh, reserve list. Because I tried to make a move with them, so that kind of sucks. But... Okay, maybe we can push up here, get these guys spotted, and get some fire on them. Uh, we only have rifles, so... Could be tricky. We do have hand grenades, though. We should have. Hopefully. Now, yeah, let's see. We set up the... Now we see them, at least, so we can fight back. Should have played this a lot smarter, though. I unfortunately did not. Okay, so we have uh, several Schutzen teams there that we can now put in as kind of a spearhead to uh, just kind of finish this, I think. Uh, heavy casualties suffer on both sides in this one. Without a doubt. Okay, there we go. We actually, I think we killed everything. Let's look at the details. So we killed 43, incapacitated 28, and we took 11 prisoners. We had uh, 24 of our guys killed, another 26 incapacitated, and two were taken prisoner. So if we look at the soldier tab here, the Sugfuro, gone. These Schutzens, 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 well, they remain. This MG team, gone. This MG team, gone. These Schutzens remain. These Schutzens, gone. These Schutzens remain. This MG team remains. So, well, what is that? Three Schutzen teams and an MG team actually came out of this alive. Yikes. Yeah, um... Well. Took some heavy casualties, but we wiped out the French regiment there, though. At least that's something. Who the hell is the MVP on the French side, though? Doesn't even look like this adds up to that much, if I'm honest. Oh, this guy... Nurit, six kills, this assistant Garnier, five kills, and uh, Essain here, quite a bit of kills. Well, it took wiping out every last man, I think, but we did do that, and we did gain control of the map, so that's good. Heavy casualties, though. But either way, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, I would appreciate it if you would consider leaving a like on it, and maybe even subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. Both of those things certainly help me out, and it's much appreciated. Either way, you can catch me in the next one. Have a good one.